hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're making a simple palazzo trouser with waistband and side zip don't forget to give this video a thumbs up leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel so without wasting much time let's jump right into the tutorial i have my fabric cut out and folded into two so i folded this fabric using my hip measurements divided by four plus additional four inches so the four inches extra is for the seam allowance and the crotch extension so because the pants is going to be having a band at the top i'm going to place my taper 1.5 inches above the starting points to take my vertical measurements so depending on you you can decide to use two inches for your band but i'll be using 1.5 inches so from my waist to my hip measurement is nine inches and from my waist to my crotch depth is 13.5 inches how did i get my crotch depth i divided my hip measurement by four and i added additional two inches i added two inches to it because the pants is going to be a high waist pants so that is 13.5 inches so i'll just go ahead now and extend the lines So the next thing is to come over to my hip line and take my round hip measurements divided by 4 which is 11.5 inches. Then I added additional 1 inch for seam allowance which is 12.5 inches. So I'll go over to my crotch depth and mark the same 12.5 inches. Then I'll form a straight line. So after that, for my crotch extension, I'll be using 3 inches, as you can see. So depending on the size of the person, if it's not a big sized person, you can use 2 inches. So take your, from your, from your hip line now, form a curve, as you can see in the video, down to your crotch line. So this is going to be your crotch extension. So after doing that, you should have something like this. So from the crotch line, I'll come down again by 2 inches. So this point is going to serve as our tie line. So I'll go ahead and mark my tie measurements on this line. So my round tie measurement is 27 inches divided by 2. That is 13.5 inches. And I added additional 1 inch for seam allowance, which is 14.5 inches. So go ahead and mark 14.5 inches. And I'll connect it now to meet the crotch curve. So on the starting line, I'll be placing my waist measurement, my round waist measurement there. Divided by 4, which is 9.5 inches, plus 1 inch for that and 1 inch for seam allowance, which is 11.5 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark it there. And then I'll connect that point now to meet my hip line. So the next thing now is to take the full length of our pant trousers. So to take the full length of the pants, I'm still going to place my tape row 1.5 inches above the starting line. So the full length of this pant is 41 inches Then I'll be adding 2 inches to it for folding at the base. That is 43 inches. So I'll come down and mark 43 inches now. So after extending the line, the next thing I'm going to do now is to take my long ruler and connect the point where I marked my tie measurement down to the full length of the trouser. I'll go ahead to connect it down this way. And I'll go to the other side and also draw down the line to meet the full length of the trouser. Go 
connect the points together like this so this is basically all you need to cut out the front panel of your pants trouser so the next thing we are going to do now is to mark out that measurement on the waistline to get your dart point divide your nipple to nipple measurement by two for me is 8 inches divided by 2 which is 4 inches so I'll go ahead and mark 4 inches on the waistline then I'll come down by another 4 inches so from that 4 inches point now I'm going to take out half an inch on both sides of the line then I'll connect the points together so after connecting the points, this is what we have. So the next one we want to do now is to cut it out. cutting out this is what we have so i'll be using this front panel now to cut out the back panel to cut out the back panel i have this fabric cut out already and it's in a fold of two so i make sure this fabric is wider than my front panel and also longer so go ahead and place your front panel on it like this then make sure you're leaving some few inches at the top so on the waistline, you go up by 2 inches. So go up by 2 inches from the waistline, like this. Then you connect it down to meet the other side, forming a slant. We are doing this because of the butts. So that the back panel can accommodate the butt well. So after that, from the waistline, come out by two inches all the way down. So I'll mark two inches all the way down. Then on the crouch line, I'm also going to come out by two inches. Connect the points together and form a curve on the crotch line. Form a, curve, form a curve on the crotch line like this. So from the tie line, start coming out by 2 inches again. And do this all the way down. Mark 2 inches all the way down, then connect all the points together from your crotch points. So extend this line up and connect it to your slant line you previously drew. So the next thing you want to do now is to cut out the back panel. So this is basically all you need for your pants trouser, the front panel and the back panel. So after cutting, this is what you should have when you open it up. So the next thing now is to place the right side facing each other. Place the right sides facing each other like this. And then I'll take it to my sewing machine now and sew it all the way. 
down to the crotch line. Then when I'm done with that, I'll also go ahead to sew up the dart points. I'll do the same thing for the back panel and I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. After closing up, this is what you should have. This is what it looks like. So the next thing you want to do, this is the back panel and I've also gone ahead to close up the dart. So the next thing you want to do now is to place the right side and the right sides facing each other. Right sides of both the front and back panel facing each other like this. Then you secure the crotch together. Make sure you match the crotch points facing each other. You can secure it using your pin. Secure it this way and then sew it all the way down. Sew it all the way down. Then go over to the other side too and do the same thing. Sew it all the way down using one inch sewing allowance. Then when I'm done with that, I also go ahead and match the other sides together. And then I'll sew it all the way down. I'll repeat the same thing for the other side. So this other side of our pants will be having the zip. So I'll just take my taper now and mark the points where I want the zip to stop. So remember we have one and a half inch, one and a half inches at the top for our waistband. So I'll just place my taper one and a half inches above the waistline and mark nine inches. So I want my zip to stop at the nine inches point. So when I'm joining the sides, I'm going to stop at that point. So I'll leave this place opened because that's where I'll be attaching my zip. So after joining all the points together, this is what we have. This is what it looks like. You can see I'm going to have to join all the sides together. So I also went ahead to finish up the base of the pants trousers. So I folded in half an inch and then another half an inch. Then before you finish up the base, make sure you fold it in this way and confirm first if the if the legs are equal because you don't want to have one leg longer than the other before you fold in the base. So the next one we want to do now is to cut out our waistband. So to get the length of fabric you'll be using for your waistband, go ahead to measure the waist all around. So use your taper and measure it all the way around. So I have 39 inches here. So I'm going to be cutting out 39 inches in length for the waistband. I've gone ahead to cut out the band, the waistband. So it's 4 inches wide and 39 inches long. So I also went ahead to iron my interfacing on it. So next thing is to attach it to the waist. So to attach the waistband to the waistline, place the right side of the waistband on the wrong side of the fabric like this. Then using half an inch sewing allowance, take it to your sewing machine and sew it all the way round. So it's all the way round like this. So after joining the first part of the waistband, this is what it looks like. Remember we placed the right side facing the wrong side. So now the next thing I want to do now is to take in half an inch at the top and then fold it in to meet the waistline. Then you can take it to your sewing machine and sew it all the way around. Remember that you can use a pin to secure it down first before sewing. So make sure you are sewing directly on the waistline when joining it. After attaching the waistband, this is what it looks like. So the next thing and the last one want to do is to attach our zip. So 
So go ahead and open up the zip and then place it on the fabric like this and then sew it all the way down to the point where you want the zip to stop. So when you are done with that part, you put the zip inside and attach it to the other side of the fabric just like you did with the first. So when I'm done with the finished product, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is the finished product of our Palazzo Pants. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!